Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing just a regular kind of get ready with me, um, just do makeup I would wear on the regular kind of thing. So if you want to look and see how I transform myself, just go ahead and So I'm going to zoom you guys up just a little bit. I already um, microdermed my face this morning and I put on um, rose rose water facial spray this isn't a rose water one but you guys get my drift um, this is the Mario Badescu I use honestly all of the not flavors but I use all the scents that they have so I really don't have any preference I just use this one today and then I went ahead and put on moisturizer and I just went ahead and used the Clinique what is this Clinique oh just Clinique smart <laughs> it's the customer pair moisturizer so I just went ahead and dabbed this all over my face and now that is nice and dry so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my eyeshadow so let me see zoom you up a little bit more so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with putting concealer on my eyelid and I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger all over okay that might look a little dark on camera but our foundation and everything will go with it later so I'm just gonna pick up a fluffy brush and Let's see, what do I want to do? So, I'm going to be using a couple palettes today. I'm going to be doing first the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe palette. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and dive into... Whoops. I'm going to dive into using probably these as my transition crease color. So... Dabble into those, and I'm just gonna go back and forth. Sorry, I'm just picking up this yellow mustard color out of the palette, and I think that one is called Creamsicle. So I'm just going to put that in my crease area I was just doing, but I'm just going to go right over that. So I'm just going to take up up. I'm just going to pick up a little smaller, denser, fluffy brush, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of a darker brown that's similar to the first two we used. And I can list all the colors and such that I'm using down below if you care, but they're just kind of all of the light brown sandy colors in the palette so I just kind of dab that in the corner a little bit just to add a little dimension darkness I'm going to take a smaller brush put this back see how little this one is hopefully this one. it's a little smaller but I'm just gonna put this in my crease outer corner of my eye so just picking up a not too, too, too dark brown. Just 
putting it in the corner. Just dabbling it in there. And this will just help give it a nice, more faded look from all the browns we've already used. And then again, just blending it out. Pick up a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush, this one from earlier, just so I can really get in there. All right, that looks good to me. So I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. to put concealer on the back of my hand so I'm just gonna literally take the rest that was on here this and get a flat brush a small little one will do so I'm just gonna take this brush and dabble my concealer and I always um, wipe it off on the side just to get the excess off. I'm going to look down and I'm going to try to cut my crease, fill my crease, whatever you want to call it. So what I like to do is I fill the lid on the bottom first and then I will Look down and just cut it on the lid and then fill in the gappy areas and then take my finger and pat it in just so I don't have globs hanging out on my eyes. And then I just do the same on the other eye. actually one of my first um, bigger or sorry this is one of my first high-end um, makeup products I've ever bought and I still use it um, time to time but this is like one of my favorite shades um, so I'm gonna take undressed and put that all over my lid with a flat brush is done. So now I'm just going to move on. I'm going to move on to or not concealer. I'm going to move on to a foundation and I'm just going to start with the El Maquillage um, poreless base and this is in no filter. And I just squeeze. It gives out literally the perfect amount because I just use this for my T-zone area. And it feels so, oh my gosh, especially since I just um, did the microderming on my face. It feels so nice because my pores don't feel so filled and nasty. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. It has that silicone feeling to it. And if you don't know what microderming is, it's just when you take this little thing what I do and I just kind of as gross as it sounds suck out all the the pores of my face so that's what I just did so I am filling that in right now okay so now I'm gonna take um, this color 
soft beige from the wet n wild photo focus foundation i love this foundation it's so easy to put on so it comes with a little what do you call these things like a like a spatula kind of i don't know applicator you don't have to use it but i do so i just kind of paint this on my face. Oops, it's kind of loud. So, this is done. And then I'm just taking a damp sponge and I'm going to blend this all in. I just, ugh, I can't with a bad hairline foundation look. So I make sure I like, get in there. Everything changes. So now that that is done, I'm going to take concealer, concealer, concealer. <laughs> And this one is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer, and this is in C3. It's just one of those sponges, those twist ups. Oh, that's a lot. And I love this concealer. And you just kind of put it underneath where you want it. So, like, clean that up. Cover up. My break. It looks like a lot and it is. <laughs> Can't lie. Okay, so I'll just blend this out. With your sponge. This is kind of like another good way with your concealer. It kind of can help like cut your eyeshadow any way or shape you want. Oh, you see how I kind of went up? It's a good way too to help do that. Okay, so I'm going to take a little dual ended, not dual ended, a, a duo fiber blending brush and I'm just going to get on the insides of my eyes that I couldn't reach with the brush and I just kind of, oh my goodness, I feel a hair on me. I'm just going to blend that, pat that in with my finger. I'm going to use the, what is this one? The Airspun Loose Powder and I'm just going to put this in here. I can't find my other one I want to use. I think that is somewhere else. Yeah, that's not here. That's okay. This is here and it works just as good. Oops. And just gonna make sure there's no creasing and that it doesn't melt off my face. Okay, so my eyebrows are done and I actually went ahead and did my winged eyeliner. So I just went ahead and used, I'll show you for my eyebrows, I used the El Maquillage, what is this, um, brow pen in brown. And then I also used the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in number two, which I think, blah, 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 I can't talk, 
which I think is their blonde color. So I used those two. And then I went ahead and used the e.l.f. eyeliner. I know this is upside down, but my dog chewed at the top of this, so... Mm. That's what I'm dealing with with this right now, but it's okay because she didn't get to the bottom part, which I need, so, but it's so sad. She literally chews on everything, so that is what that looks like. Now I'm going to move on to blush, and I'm going to be using the Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio Palette, and I'm going to be mixing the seclusion and else Isla Isla I don't know I'm gonna be mixing the peach color and the coral color together and I just kind of mix and a lot comes off these so just use a light hand and I'm just gonna pat this on my cheek And put this on my nose a little bit, chin, forehead, just kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. All right, that is done. I'll blend that out a little bit. So now, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more. I'm going to contour my nose and I'm just going to be using the Pretty Vulgar Night Tingle palette that I've used before. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what it was called. And I just use, again, the hide and seek color in here and I contour my nose. So, I'm just going to be picking up a kind of flat brush and Ooh, that's a kind of a lot. Whoops, I mean to do that. Mm. That's okay, I'll just rub it in. So, bring this in a little bit more. So I'm going to do highlighter next and I'm just going to use the Carly by Belle Deluxe Palette and just pick a highlighter from here. Um, I usually do, I mix these two, the gold, oops, can you not see this? Yeah, okay, the gold and the, it's like the rose gold color, but I think I want to do the pink color today. So I, honestly, I just use my finger half the time. So I'm just going to put this... Ooh, that's so pretty. I don't know why, I just want to use this one today. Maybe, oh goodness, look at that. Maybe I'll put the other one on top, but I just felt like using this one. I haven't used this one in forever. I'll probably put the gold one on top, or the rose gold. Yeah, let me put the rose gold one on top. I'm just gonna try to, I'm like wiping my hand. Try to just blend that out a little bit, just cause it is a little. So I just cleaned these off, but um, these are these, these are I think they're from House of Lashes and they're iconic lights. I'm not sure. I'll double check. But these are some of my favorites. So I'm just going to put these on. Where's the eyelash glue? Okay. So I'm just gonna use my velour eyelash glue and I'm just going to line the lash line 
Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Learn the lash line and pop these on. So what's helpful to me is if I have a mirror like this right below me and I just look down into the mirror and then I can land land, place, whatever you want to call it, my eyelashes where I want them to. And then pull them if I need to pull them more forward. Or whatever. That is still drying, but I'm just going to push them up so I can go ahead and do mascara and I'm just going to coat my lashes and this is the Gade Volumetric Mascara. So I'm just going to carefully El Maquillage what is this? Um, long wear eye pencil in Eskimo. And this is to line my waterline. For lip liner, I'm just going to take this one from NYX in Beige. And I think it has like a little bit of metallic to it. I'm not sure, but the end of it does, but it doesn't look like it at all on the lips. So this is in beige and I'm just going to line my lips. So basically my whole lip by rubbing them together. And then I'll take a nude. I'll take a nude lipstick. And this is MAC Plain Koi. I always use this. And just kind of put it on the middle of my lips. I need to put on a little more bronzer too. I'm sorry. I totally should have done that a little bit earlier. But so. After I contour, I just like to put a little bit bronzer on, a little more bronzer on like I normally would. I just like to make sure I get the whole forehead, my neck. Okay, that looks good to me. And then sometimes I'll put eyeshadow underneath my eye and I feel like it today. So I'm just going to put that underneath my eye with a flat brush. So I'm just taking a little bit of a brown color. Just to put under my eyes. And these are the lighter brown shades from Carly's palette. The Deluxe. final look I just went ahead and used a little um, facial spray just to set the whole look and I went ahead and just straightened my hair so this is a normal look I would typically do on any given day and I'm sure most of you guys can rely on that will look good and just go with kind of any kind of outfit ended a little bit weird um but thank you guys so much for watching i was trying to make sure my editing uh, matched up with my sentences as i was cutting um but just go ahead and make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye